a phone or iPad, you would just double tap Jordan's screen. That's how you would pin it. Okay. okay. That's how it is. Okay, so let me unmute Eric. All right, Eric, you're good to go. All right, morning, Janet. Morning, Bethany. Barb, good morning. Let's do this. Let's crush this thing. All right, so we will get started with a warm up. Again, it's going to be a full body strength and conditioning, so we're going to warm up everything. First thing that we're going to do, we're just going to go here, nice and controlled, high knees. Okay, just driving the knees up. Hope you all are doing well today. Doing very well. How are you, Jordan? <laughs> then we're going to switch the butt kicks in three, two, one, butt kicks. Keeping the arms uh, nice and relaxed. Okay, in a few seconds, we're going to switch to jumping jacks. All right, jumping jacks in three, two, one, and jumping jacks. You know, Eric, the hard thing about wearing earphones with a mic, everybody could hear how loud I'm breathing and stuff. It's a little embarrassing. And then we're going to switch to seal jacks. Seal jacks is going to be here. Arms straight. Just open up and close. All right, ready, and go. See, that's why I don't. Know others, the don't knees at all, you could just go here. Just got getting the body nice and warm. Or we do a few stretches. Three, two, one, and go ahead and relax. Shake out the arms, shake out the legs. Okay, so we're gonna go full body stretch starting from the head, working our way down. Okay, so what we're gonna do, have your feet planted and we're just gonna warm up the neck, just looking down, tucking the chin, and then you're gonna look over the right shoulder, back down, look over the left shoulder. So we're gonna go five to six on each side. Not rushing, taking your time. Controlling your breathing. About two more on each side. And one more on each side. Okay, from then, keep the feet planted. We're gonna go here, elbows high, shoulder width height, and then we're just gonna go palms down, rotating the foot, rotating the hip. So looking to your right, looking to your left, Same thing, about five to six on each side. If I'm going too fast, you could slow down. All right, since we're warming up the shoulders too, let's just go arm circles, fingertips to the ceiling. Then we're gonna switch in three, two, one. Reverse it, keeping the fingertips up. In three, two, one. Okay, feet planted again. Sh uh, feet shoulder width apart. This one's a little awkward, but it's a good stretch for the hip flexors, hip flexors and the lower back. We're gonna go hula hoops here. Okay, so turning the hips, keeping both heels planted. We're gonna go eight circles clockwise, eight circles counterclockwise. Two more, and then reverse it. Two more, and then last two stretches. We haven't done this one before, but keeping your feet planted and then feet together like so. We're just gonna warm up the ankles and the knees, okay? So you're just gonna go here, keeping the feet planted, not elevating the heels. About eight to 10 times. Let's go two more, one, two, and then very last one, clasp your hands together. Since we're gonna do a lot of planks, or just let's warm up the wrists, okay? So 10 circles clockwise, 10 circles counterclockwise. 
All right, so we are going to get started. Okay, so if you did my workout last Wednesday, it's gonna be the same exact format, just different exercises. Okay, so it's gonna be three circuits, three rounds each circuit, dynamic time. Okay, so you don't have to keep track of reps or anything. Coach Eric is gonna help us with the time, but the first round is gonna be 25 seconds each exercise. The second round, we're gonna drop down to 20 seconds each exercise. And then the last round is gonna be 15 seconds. So if you need to go heavier in weight as the rounds progress, that is an option. And then we're gonna go conditioning in between after every circuit. Same thing, two rounds, first uh, two rounds, two exercises. First round is gonna be 25 seconds. And then second round is gonna be 15 seconds. Okay, so I'll go through the conditioning exercises first. First one, everybody's favorite. We're gonna go bear crawls, okay? But side to side. One, two, you could use a mat. One, two. Keeping, I'll show you guys from the side. Keeping your knees right under your hips. Knees elevated, hands right under your shoulders. One, two, one, two. Get too much on the shoulders or wrist. You could go mountain climbers on the hands or the elbows using a bench or on the floor. Or you could go jumping jacks as well. Okay, second exercise. Uh, this is gonna be the harder version. Skiers, side to side, nice and soft landing. That's too much, you could go skaters too. Skiers or skaters, okay? So those are gonna be our two conditioning exercises. So bear with me, I know it's a lot of explanation, but uh, let me go through circuit A, three exercises. Again, you don't have to keep track of any reps or anything. Eric's gonna help us with that, but first exercise. Pair of dumbbells. You could use a bench. I prefer using a bench, but you could use the floor as well. So it's gonna be alternating chest press. Start with the arms extended, palms stay neutral, palms facing each other. And then we're just gonna go alternating presses up and down, okay? So that's gonna be the first exercise. The second exercise, we're gonna go forward and back one. So I'll show you guys from the side. Forward with the right, pause in the middle, backward with the right. So we're gonna go all one leg for 25 seconds. When Eric says switch, we'll switch legs. Now, if you need more weight, you could go dumb or more resistance, dumbbells each side. Very last exercise of circuit A, ab reach outs. Feet down or feet up a little bit harder. Chest up, eyes straight ahead, reach behind your ear, and then alternate. Reach behind, reach behind, okay? So again, first round, 25 seconds each exercise. We're gonna start off with that floor press. So please start off light. We could work, we could go heavier the next two rounds. 25 seconds on Eric's go. All right, starting with our alternating presses, go ahead and get set and begin. And starting with both arms extended, alternating every press. Not rushing, nice and controlled. Anybody using bands, Eric? Uh, not that I see. Okay. Short time here. Three, two, one, and switch. Going to four backward lunches. And Janet, do you have bands? Go ahead and give me a nod if you have bands. Okay, so Janet has bands. Yep, when we get to that uh, next round, we'll go ahead and show you the shoulder presses with that. If you and have. before we get started, I'm sorry, I forgot to say, if the forward and back lunge is too much on the knees, you could hinge back into like a hinge step back, okay? Concentrating on the hamstrings. Yep. Here we go, forward, backward lunges. 25 seconds, get set and go. Remember we're doing just one side at a time and then we'll switch at uh, 25 seconds and do the other side in a moment here. Once you got the form down, you can kind of up the pace a little bit there under control. Big step back, dropping your level, short time, five seconds, switching sides in four, three, two, one, and go ahead, quick switch up, 25 seconds on the other side. Go ahead. Make sure all your weight's on that front heel. Okay. 
10 seconds here. Make sure hips are squared up, facing forward the entire time. Go into ab reach outs in five, four, three, two, one, and go ahead, transition to the floor here. 25 seconds on our reach out, sitting back a little bit. Ready, and begin. And you could have your feet down, feet elevated. So we've got 10 seconds here. We're gonna go back to the first exercise, which is those alternating floor presses in a moment. If you have bands, go ahead and follow Jordan here. If you have dumbbells, continue like Jordan did on the first set. Three, two, one, and switch. Going back to first exercise, the floor presses if you have dumbbells, and then watching Jordan if you have a set of bands, you're gonna be standing on the band. Okay, if you have bands, we're gonna go one foot or two feet if that's not enough resistance but overhead press only if you have bands. If you have dumbbells, I want you guys to stick to the floor presses or on the bench there. Ready and begin. Nice job, nice job. 25 seconds here, under control. Not 20 too seconds. Too oh, sorry, 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> one minute, one minute of presses. <laughs> now 20 seconds here, we got short time, five seconds. Four, three, two, one and switch it up We're going to our alternating or sorry forward backward lunges and if you guys need to add resistance dumbbells each side add resistance if you can since we're going down in time get set and go 20 seconds each leg here so step forward step back nice big stride Of course, you can add weight or make sure that you're getting as much depth as what's comfortable for the lunge. Two, one, and switch sides. Switch it up here and go right ahead, 20 seconds. Hope you guys are listening to music and not just listening to me breathe hard. <laughs> Short time, we want to add reach outs in three, two, one, and switch. Awesome, awesome. <clears throat> the way to the mat, 20 seconds here, get set, and go. You can pick your feet up just like Jordan's here to make it tougher, you can lean back a little bit more. Five seconds and we're back to our either chest press or shoulder press. Four, three, two, one, and go ahead, switch it up. Nice job, guys. Awesome, awesome. So 15 seconds. Again, if you have access to heavier weights, I want you guys to go up in resistance since it's only 15 seconds each exercise. Ready and begin. Start with the arms extended, alternating. Those of us that are on the bands, awesome. Janet, I like the modification there. Awesome, awesome. Short time, four, three, two, one, and up to our feet for our lunges. Just 15 seconds a piece here. Get set and go. Step forward, step backward. This is short time, so good pace, still under control. See how many you can get in the 15 seconds with good form. Three, two, one, and switch up. And go right ahead, right in the next one, 15 seconds. Going to ab reach outs in three, two, one, and go ahead, switch it up, go to the floor, head to the mat there. After this 15 seconds, we've got our conditioning cycle. Get set and go. Reaching out and back. So after this 15 second go here, we're going into lateral bear crawls for 25 seconds. Four, three, two, 
one and go ahead follow Jordan here. So bear crawls, bear crawls too much. We could go jumping jacks, floor jacks, mountain climbers. All right, so 25 seconds, two steps to the right, two steps back. Ready? And go ahead. Keeping those knees right under your hips, hands right under your shoulders. This is 25 seconds here. Now these two exercises that we're doing are gonna stay the same the entire workout. They're gonna be between each of the circuits. Short time, awesome, good pace here. Two, one, and up to our feet for skiers or skaters. Skiers, both feet, skaters, one leg at a time. Everybody get set and go. 25 <laughs> seconds. So this is the skier variation that Jordan's doing here. Lower impact is gonna be a step side to side. Still for speed, still for good distance, side to side. Awesome, awesome. Notice how Jordan's using his arms. He's getting good side to side distance, pushing off hard, landing soft. Awesome, awesome. Short time here, five seconds, four, three, two, one, and back to our bear crawl or jumping jack variation or mountain climbers. Those are all options here. So the second round is just 15 seconds, so it gets chopped down to almost half. Get set and go. Nice job, everybody. It's an awesome pace here. Awesome pace. Quick, efficient transitions in between. Doing really well here. Just 15 seconds, then we're going to our skiers or skaters. Two, one, and switch. Nice. Awesome, awesome. I'll do the skater version this time just to show you guys. Here we go, get set and go. 15 seconds and we'll grab a quick drink and go through circuit B. There you go, good, push off side to side. If you're doing the skier jumps, use your arms, lower your level, use your hips. Awesome, awesome. Three, two, one, and rest. Well done. All right. Good work, guys. Well done, well done. Awesome, awesome. All right, guys, get a quick drink. Hal. Nice name, Hal. That's awesome. <laughs> Love you too, Hal. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <Local> <laughs> Hope you had a great Easter, everyone. Yes, you too, Holly. Thank you. It was nice. Thank you, Holly. You're welcome. All right. Get a, get a quick drink, guys. And then eyes over here, please. I'll show you guys the next circuit. I'll let you back to joy. Right. Ready to rock. So there we go. circuit B, second circuit here. We're going to go bent over row with an ISO hold. OK, so I'll show you guys from the side. Slight bend in the knees, keep your chest up back straight. You're gonna hold with one arm, pull with the other, okay? Hold with one arm, pull with the other. Once Eric says halfway, we're gonna switch, okay? So make sure you're pulling back, squeezing that shoulder blade in the back, elbow driving up towards your rib cage, okay? So it's gonna be 25 seconds, and then on halfway, we're gonna switch arms, okay? Second exercise, we're gonna go glute series. Second exercise, we're gonna go glute series. So I'm gonna be on the floor here. Three different steps. We're gonna break the rules a little bit. We're gonna go 20 seconds each step. And then this is not gonna change for every round. So uh, we're gonna drive through one heel, hold the single leg glute bridge, 20 seconds here. Make sure you're not feeling this in the lower back, concentrating on the glutes and hamstrings. After 20 seconds, we're gonna switch legs. Okay, so 20 seconds on this side too. Very last step, once Eric says switch, both legs down, toes up, drive up through the heels, as many reps in a controlled pace for, with two legs for 20 seconds. Okay, did that make sense? Eric, did I explain that correctly? Yeah, yeah awesome. <laughs> okay, so that is the second exercise, very last one. So grab your lightest pair of dumbbells since, especially for the first round for 25 seconds, I'm gonna be on my elbows here. Feet a little bit wider than usual since we're trying to prevent 
the rocking from side to side. We're gonna push one dumbbell at a time and then pull one dumbbell at a time. Okay, so not rocking the hips, keeping those hips level. Now, if that's too much, you could go elbows or hands on a bench and then just go plank punches like so. Okay, so those three exercises, 25 seconds each the first round. First one is gonna be that bench over row. Awesome, awesome. Starting with bent row, you could use bands or dumbbells for this one. Bands, you're stepping on it. Dumbbells, you're holding them like Jordan is here. Here we go, 25 seconds on the first arm. Other one is holding up top. Ready? And begin. Awesome. Hold one arm in, keeping that elbow tight to the body, driving that other elbow into the rib cage. Back flat, guys, core engaged. Well, it helps to have hips back, just like Jordan's doing. That way, chest comes forward. Let me get the correct angle here for this row. Short time, three, two, one, and switch arms. Other one stays in tight. Opposite arm is rowing. Short time, five seconds, all the way through here. Four, three, two, one, and go ahead and make your way to the mat. We've got three part glutes here. Three part glutes following Jordan. First one is gonna be one leg. Isometric glute hold for 25 seconds. Get set and go. So hips are up, pick a side, any side, just driving through the floor with one heel. Other knee can be tucked, foot up in the air. Just making little readjustments here. So hip stays nice and high, driving through the floor. We're going 25 seconds here and then switching sides. Twenty seconds. Or I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> switch, switch sides. Thank you, Jordan. No problem. You're welcome. <laughs> Everybody else. Not all heroes um, work these guys. Yeah. <laughs> so with that hold, I'm making sure that there's a straight line from the top of my knee all the way down to the shoulder. Okay, so make sure you're not feeling this in the lower back. Squeeze the glute, squeeze the hamstring. Short time. Three two, one, and go ahead, both feet grounded, repping out as many bridges as you can under control and go. So now evenly pushing through both heels, rep them out here, rep them out all the way to the floor and then back to that straight line Jordan was describing there. Nice job, nice job, 10 seconds here. Driving your knees forward, hips go back, same thing, concentrating on the glutes, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the hamstring. Two, one and switch. Go ahead. We're doing plank, plank push and pull now. So we're going to go to a plank position. Grab your dumbbells if you have them. If you do not have dumbbells, you can do what's called a plank punch where you're just punching out in front. Here we go. 25 seconds. Get set and go. Again, on your elbows, feet a little bit wider than usual, just so it's safer on the lower back. Pushing both dumbbells one at a time, pulling both one dumbbell at a time. And Jordan, you want to do just a couple plank punches. If you do not have dumbbells, you can do plank punches here, like Jordan's yeah. doing. Just punching out in front. Yeah. Going up to our rows in two, one, and switch. Nice job, guys. Going in around two, 20 seconds on our rows here. So up on our feet, quick transitions here. Go up and wait if, if you feel ready for it here to progress. 20 seconds. Get set and go. So chest now, is if this bothers the lower back at all, you could drop down to half kneel just like so. Tension on that arm still. Again, switching halfway. Short time. Three, two. One and switch arms. Whew. Kind of settle in on this side. Other elbow tight. Nice job, nice job. Two. 
short time. We're going to our glutes in three, two, one, and switch it up. Well oh. done. Go ahead and transition to the mat. Twenty seconds. This is going to stay the same the entire circuit. Twenty seconds on one leg. It's set and go. Drive through the heel. Hips up. As time goes on for each uh, each side, if you feel like your hip starts to drop, just make that conscious re-engagement, readjustment. And get back to good position. Here we go. Three, two, one, and switch sides. Right into the other side. Other side up. Yeah, Jordan, when we go to conditioning, might have to mute all again. I think we're catching some sound from somebody. Oh, okay. Three, two, one and go ahead both feet grounded right into our bridges go ahead and rep them out 20 seconds and go nice job nice job and guys make sure your heels are hip width apart not too narrow not too wide with these and someone is jamming out here <laughs> i know i almost feel bad muting two one and uh, go to our plank push and pull. <laughs> Sounds like Uncle Art's music. <laughs> no, it's not Prince. <laughs> Here we go. 20 seconds on the plank push pull. Get set and go. Think about keeping the hips level, hips and back straight. There's going to be a little bit of weight shifting just as you're reaching each side, perfectly fine there. But just push and pull. Feel just what exhale on each one. Short time, then we're going back to our bent row for 15 seconds. Four, three, two, one, and switch. Nice job. Third and final round on circuit B here. Let me mute everybody. Okay. Go ahead up to your feet. Grab your dumbbells. This is going to be the last set of the bent row where our hips are back. Uh-oh. I'm good. Eric, you're good? Yep. All here right, we good. go. 15 seconds. Last, uh, last round on each exercise here. Get set and go. So hips are back, chest is forward. Anchor in on one side. Weight should be about midfoot to your heels. Switching sides in three, two, one, and switch. Right into the other side. Go ahead. And guys, don't lose tension on that shoulder. You want to keep that shoulder blade back. Going to our glute bridges in two, one, and switch. Nice. Well done. Well Feeling done. It. That exercise. Quick transition here. Pick a side, any side, going glute bridges. It's that. And go. This one is staying 20 seconds the entire circuit. So this is 20 seconds on each side here. And guys, the other leg, the off leg, the leg that's up, that is still working too. Imagine there's like a tennis ball right in your hip and that you're squeezing. Two, one, and switch. And go right ahead. Once you switch sides, go ahead and get your hip up. Drive through the floor with the heel. Shoulders evenly across the floor. 10 seconds here. Short time, two, one, and go ahead. Both feet grounded. Rep them out here. Go right ahead. 20 seconds and go. That's round, guys. Strong finish. Drive through the heels on each one, consciously engage the glute, a little extra squeeze at the top, and all the way to the floor. We're going plank, push, and pull in four, three, two, one, and switch. You guys are crushing it. 
All right, here we go. Plank position. Get set and go. Just 15 seconds here, under control. See how many you can get. Good form, not too fast, not too slow. And then we're going to lateral bear crawls in a moment here. So we're going back to that conditioning cycle in four, three, two, one, and switch. Nice. Just a moment here. We'll do quick transition. Could either do jumping jacks, floor jacks, mountain climbers, or our lateral bear crawl following Jordan here. 25 seconds. Get set and go. Let's knock these out here. Get the heart rate back up. After and two the steps to the right, two steps to the left. Sorry, Eric. No, you're good, buddy. Knees yeah. right under your hips, hands right under your shoulders. Short time, two, one, and switch. Up to our feet for skiers or skaters. There you go. 25 seconds here. Nice job, nice job. Get set and go. Even if you're doing the skaters, see if you can get a little distance side to side. That way you really have to push off, get some of the lateral strengthening going. Shouldn't necessarily be in one place. Going side to side here, doing really well. Back to our lateral bear crawls in three, two, one, and switch. Awesome, 15 seconds. And go. Bear crawls are looking awesome this morning, guys. If I can see you, otherwise it might be like an empty room because everybody's on the floor. Two, one, and switch. Up to our feet. Deep breath, let's tackle this one here, 15 seconds. And go. Skiers or skaters. Get a quick drink after this one. We got one last circuit today. Short time, five seconds all the way through. Four, three, two, one, and rest. All right. Awesome, 9 a.m. crew. Good work, everyone. Quick drink here, think about how we're about to crush this last circuit. All right, guys, quick drink. And then eyes up, I'll show you guys the very last and final circuit. You good, Eric? Oh yeah, yeah, so for this last circuit, there'll be one exercise that involves bands and or dumbbells. So keep that in mind. Okay, so very first exercise, we're gonna go push-up series. It wouldn't be a Jordan and Eric workout if there wasn't any push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so just like, you, the glutes, <laughs> just like the glute series, we're gonna break the rules a little bit for the push-ups. So three different steps, 15 seconds each step. First one, we're just gonna go push up hold. So plank hold at the very top, 15 seconds. Okay, so once Eric says switch, two options. You could drop down into that push up position or you could go on your elbows, okay? You could, use, you could do the same thing on a bench as well. So 15 seconds on that one. And then the very last 15 seconds, when Eric says switch, we're gonna go push-ups as many times as you can, as many reps as you can for 15 seconds, okay? So arms extended, 15 seconds. All the way down, 15 seconds. And then push-ups for 15 seconds. Okay, after that one, we're gonna go dynamic squat. So if you need a dumbbell, goblet hold, one dumbbell. Okay, so we're gonna go here, feet together, feet out into a squat, toes out, driving through the heels all the way out drive the feet in and then back out. So it looks like this full speed. In, out, make sure your feet are set before you go down, keeping your eyes straight ahead, chest up. Now, if you have bands, 
You could do the same thing. Just have a front hold like so. Feet in, feet out, squat. Or you could go body extensions as well. Okay. And then very last one, two options for this one as well. We're gonna go reverse crunch. So hands by your hips. We're gonna drive, toes pointed, drive the knees into the chest and then bite the legs out. If you can, drive the hips up. Now, if that is too much on the lower back, just keep the knees bent, back flat, glued to that mat or floor like so. Okay, so again, 25 seconds each exercise for the first round. All right. Starting with our, our uh, push-up variation here. So again, if your knees are on the mat or on the floor or using a bench, we're starting up in a push-up position for 15 seconds. Here we go. Get set and go. Back flat. Hips not too low, not too high. Only 15 seconds here, guys. Lowering into a plank or a push-up in two, one, and switch. So Jordan is kind of hovering above the mat right now, or you could be in a plank position. Short time, short time. Four, three, two, one, and go ahead and rep them out. 15, out. 15 seconds, good control. And make those little adjustments if you need to go knees grounded or elevated hands on a bench or a step there, perfectly fine. Two, one, and come on up to your feet. Awesome. Take a quick switch up here. That was fun. So either goblet hold with the dumbbell or standing on your bands with the handles. Either way, your hands are going to be just under your chin. Here we go. Muscles are twitching for a second. Hold on. All right, we're good. Buying us some time here. So go in and out, out, and squat only when your feet are wide. Get set and go. This is back to 25. So think in, in, out, out, squat. In, in, out, out, squat. Weight staying just below the chin. You can do this with just body weight or you can do it with weights. Whatever's available, whatever's uh, most appropriate. Short time, four, three, two, one, and switch. Going to reverse crunches. Go ahead and make your way to the mat. Get set. And go, 25 seconds on this first round here. So you can kick out away from you, tuck your knees and go up towards the ceiling. Kick out and away, then up towards the ceiling. Or if you wanna make it tougher, you just keep your legs straight the whole time. Is that a challenge, Eric? <laughs> <laughs> Throwing out options for you there, Jay. <laughs> and you can go hands under your hips or even hold on to something anchored above your head too. One and switch back to our push ups. And this one's going to stay 15 seconds on all three of them. So, starting up in our push up position, hands under the shoulders, get set and begin. 15 seconds here. Think about keeping hips and back straight. Shoulders are kind of locked in, anchored in, so we're not dipping and we're not pressing so hard that our, our upper back is hunched. Kind of locked in a position there, too. One, and go ahead and lower. Nice. Feel the Let heat mind go somewhere else. <laughs> Feel the heat building in the shoulders and the chest. Short time, going to rep them out in two. One, and go. Press, press, there we go. Awesome, awesome. Form first, <laughs> then, then pace. <laughs> Good. Press two, one, and switch. Nice. Awesome. Nice job on those push-ups there, guys. Thank you, Eric. Jordan, we're gonna have to work on the form there on the push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't flying squirrel enough. Here we go. Just below the chin with the weight or the uh, hands or handles. Going in and out, out, goblet squat. Get set and go. 20 seconds, 20 seconds for round two. In, in, out, out. Good depth under control. 
Nice. Squats are looking great across the board here. Nice job, everybody. I think hips go back. Weight just below the chin. Short time. Three, two, one, and switch. Go ahead to our reverse crunches. Make our way to the mat. Quick transition here. Get set. And go. Under control here. If you are doing that straight leg version and you're feeling a little bit of tension, a little bit of pressure in the low back, go ahead and go back to the uh, the knee tucking version that Jordan's doing here. Might be a safer option there. Just 20 seconds. Short time. We're going into our last round in five, four, three, two, one, and switch it up. Well done. Last round of push-ups here. Just 15 seconds a piece on these three parts. Starting up in the push-up plank position. Round three. Get set. And go. Just 15 a piece here. Last round, best round, guys. Strong finish. <sighs> Having so much fun. I don't want it to end. <laughs> yeah, we can do longer if you want. In the 15 seconds. Short time. Two, one, and lower. Go ahead. <laughs> An inch or two above the floor or in a plank position, right? A couple of options there. Short time, hold it, doing really well. Rep them out in three, two, one, and go ahead. Good control. Left the floor away there. Short time. Three, two, one, and quit. Nice job. Awesome, awesome. Then we're up to our uh, squats here. In, in, out, out with the squat. Get set and begin. Only 15 seconds, guys. Strong finish. You can do more of a deadlift variation, a little easier on the knees. You can do your swings. Short time. Three, two, one and switch. Nice. To the mat, last one on reverse crunches, then we've got one round of conditioning. Here we go, get set and begin. Good form even at the end here. I think short little exhale when you kick away. The toughest point of this exercise is gonna be when your feet are just above the floor, kicked out away from your hips. Short time, three. Two, one, and switch it up. Going lateral bear crawls, jumping jacks, or mountain climbers. Good work, everyone. Awesome, awesome. 25 seconds here. 25 seconds, lateral bear crawls. Get set and begin. 25 seconds, still thinking hands under the shoulders. Shins are parallel with the floor. Nice. Ten seconds. Nice job, team. Everybody's bear crawls are looking solid. Short time. Three, two, one, and switch. Up to your feet, skiers or skaters. Good form, good speed, even at the end here. 25 seconds. Ready and go. Got the arms into it. Push off hard. Thinking side to side on the skaters, keeping hips facing forward. There we go. Rep them out here. Rep them out. Short time all the way through. Five seconds. Back to our bear crawls in four, three, two, one, and switch. Awesome. Last one here. 15 seconds apiece. Here we go. Get set and begin. Just 15 seconds, so with good form, see how many you can get here, side to side. As soon as you start to slow down, deep breath right back into it. Short time here, five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and switch. Up to your feet. Last 15 here, knock them out. 
Here we go. Deep breath, get set. And go. 15 seconds. The arms into it. Hips are going back. Push off hard. Short time all the way through here. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and time. Done. All right. Woo. Awesome. Great awesome. work, everybody. Thanks, guys. Well done. Janet, awesome. I saw Thank your you, cat Janet. Um, some publicity. Yeah, she, not, she knocked my phone over. <laughs> Air crawls and push ups. That sucked. Uh, it was great. Nice job, team. Well done, everybody. Thanks for. Uh, Thanks for being with us.